Time FM Morning Show time now for Doc Talk by Woodlawn Hospital. Dr. Feldman joins us and Janelle, good morning. How are you guys this morning? Hey, doing really well. Thank you for having us. Good, Thanks. Good, Randy. good, good. Thanks for having coming in. And what are we going to talk about today? Obviously, uh, pediatrics is a, a good topic to talk about, seeing that's what you guys deal with, right? Yep, we've been <laughs> staying busy. Staying I'm busy. sure, I'm sure you have been, obviously. Uh, you know, from newborn all the way up to what age do you see? So we see new patients up to age 18. Okay. And then we tell kids as long as they're a student, we'll keep seeing them. Although some we kind of have to nudge out of the nest. <laughs> but uh, and there's certain areas where we know that you know we're not experts, and uh, so as kids uh, begin to age out, we'll make recommendations if they need to move on for things like um, contraceptive health, things like that. But yeah, if they're home from school and they've got a sore throat, we're more than happy to keep seeing them. Um, when they become parents, we tell them you got to move on now. <laughs> but, but you can come back as a parent, though, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And we see plenty of those, it seems, these days. I'm getting old. <laughs> uh, well, I was going to ask you how long you've been in, uh, in business. Um, so I've been there since 2000, okay. and Dr. Rayburn was five years ahead of me. Oh, wow. So now how long you've been involved? A little bit over a year now. Okay, all right. So, obviously, uh, on the heels of Dr. Feldman, learning out from the from the best, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, how your day goes. So, um, you know, kind of follow suit with their schedules. Um, so you start seeing patients 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. So, keeping what, us really busy. What What drew you into pediatrics? Say. What What drew you in? Is it you were oh, growing up and and, sure. and deciding what you wanted to do? Where, where Where did you decide it was pediatrics that you wanted to get involved with? So I actually um, really enjoyed my rotation. I had time spent with Dr. Feldman, and Dr. Rayburn during my uh, clinical time, and you know found that the population was pretty fun to work with. Um, there's a lot to educate education between the patient and then also with parents. So. It's been a really interesting journey, and um, you know, it's been a great role model and uh, mentor for them as well through their own life journeys. is great. Dr. Feldman, go back a several years. Uh, what brought you into pediatrics as you were going through college and everything? So, as I worked through all the different rotations when you're in med school and uh, different experiences, I seemed to just keep gravitating back towards the pediatric areas, whether it was heart surgery or uh, various different medical fields, the pediatric portion I found the most interesting. And I just, I really enjoy that end of the spectrum. I know a lot of physicians who don't enjoy <laughs> young patients who scream and yell and whatnot. Um, I find my patients to be uh, brutally honest, yeah. um, whether they like you or not, things like that. But yeah, I really enjoy the patient population. I enjoy the type of uh, processes we work through with them. And I really enjoy the newborn area. Uh, if life were a little different, I'd probably be working in a big NICU somewhere because I really enjoy the newborns and the particular set of issues they, they come with. And um, it's a, I don't know, it's extremely rewarding work. And then I also like the process of watching them grow yeah. up, especially now after a couple decades. Right. Lots of kids we've got to watch grow up, be successful. It's just wonderful. You know, I, I guess, and I'm, I'm just thinking on the top of my head, one of the biggest challenges of being a pediatric doctor would be not, especially early in the newborn, they can't tell you what's wrong. Yes and no. They, okay. they don't always use words. Right. And they'll let you know if something hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that I admit my skill set continues to change. And I'm different now than I was five years ago, ten years ago, because you continue to build on, you know, what you learn from patients. And uh, so that's one of those things that's always changing and you're figuring out as well as I feel like that's the beauty of small town life is I know my patients, I know their parents, you get to yeah. build relationships there. And I feel like I use that every day because if I was in a place where I didn't know the people coming through the door, it's hard to make decisions. And there's a lot of times where we, you know, we've uh, impressed that upon Janelle. There's a lot of times there's things that you say, hey, Call me back tomorrow and let me know how it's going. And we, we trust our parents that yeah. they do that. They call us back and say, we're a little better, or hey, we're a little worse, and we'll say, come back in. But there's a lot of things that we can extend to them because we know our families. Do you know what brings you to the Fulton County, the small rural hospital? Obviously, you know, with, with doctors' needs and everything else around anywhere, uh, what brings you back to the small town? So I actually... Um 
came here in 2012 with my husband. Um, his family has been part of the community for many years and um, had interviewed at Woodlawn and got a position there and, and have just been part of the family since 2012. Um, went back to school and um, I still wanted to stay here. Yeah. Obviously, the this, this small town is, uh, and it goes back to what Dr. Feldman said, you know, you, you watch the kids grow up, you know the parents, uh, you know, so that's kind of a neat thing, too, as you start start out and get going. Yep. Um, you know, another portion of it is I, I enjoy being out in the community myself and being part of different things, and kiddos come up to me and, <laughs> hey, coach, or, yeah. hey, you know, they, they know me from the office, and they know me from somewhere, and, and it's, it's a good feeling to see their faces light up and doc you mentioned it earlier that uh, you know if, if things were different you know 20 years ago maybe you'd be in a, in a NICU what keeps you local what keeps you in the small town well partially what got me here was I'm a Valley grad and um, so I have local ties with family and then I really enjoyed what looked like a strong practice with Eileen Shu and Kevin Rayburn and wanted to be part of that the other side of it was I get to do some of that work as far as you know newborn resuscitations and some of that NICU work. Plus, you know, we get to do a lot of specialty work because we're remote, mm -hmm. because we're not real close to places. We're sort of that bridge between the specialist and living here. Yeah. And so we do a lot of work for not just Fulton County, but a lot of surrounding counties. Uh, we have a lot of special needs patients who are pretty complex. And so it keeps us on our toes and I find that it's, it makes for some hard long days, but it also you know keeps the old brain working, yeah. and, and I find that really interesting and very rewarding too. Because like you said, when you go out and you know Janelle mentioned, you go out in the public and kids see you at a sporting event or at the grocery store or something, just out and about running, walking, whatever. And kids come up to you, you know, it, it just it's got to make you feel good. Absolutely, absolutely, and I think part of it too is um, it's easier for us in a selfish manner. I can measure then in a small town I can say hey if we weren't here probably wouldn't be pediatricians here or because I look around the yeah. surrounding communities there's a real need and that's part of why we needed Janelle we needed somebody to help out because a lot of the surrounding communities uh, there's less providers than there used to be and people are having to drive further and so we feel like uh, we've sort of become a, a local center for providing that care here also uh, along with that I know you want to talk a little bit about some uh, Sports physicals it's coming that, up. It's it that season. It is that season. So, and I reached out yesterday just to make sure I had some of my dates right. But um, April 1st is the date when you can start getting a sport physical for next school year. Okay. And it will be good through the next, uh, I guess this would be the fall of 23 and 24. Okay. Um, so, and they need that on file before you can have your first practice. And the coaches always <laughs> find a few kids that don't quite get yes. that squeezed in. Yes. Um, they should be able, I think most insurances will cover a physical each year. Okay. And we recommend kids should get that physical with their personal provider. Their, someone who knows them well is going to understand them the best. Now, when they do that form for sport physicals, it's important for the parents to fill that out before the physical. There's certain areas, I've had a couple over the last few years, that the family history was all that was abnormal. The child's exam was completely normal. But because of family history, you can identify issues and get tests that are needed. And sometimes things come from that. Yeah. They're very, they can be very rare, but there's things that are red flags that we look for. And so have that form completed so that we can go through that with you. Obviously, uh, call and get one scheduled sooner the better, yes. right? Yes, because as it gets to the end of the summer, <laughs> it'll get really full. Anything else you guys would like to talk about this morning? You know, I think... Uh, I think it's real important as we you know come through spring break and hopefully one of these days the weather gets <laughs> nicer we'll switch out of this cold and flu season and get into summer summer stuff but we talk repeatedly with kids at well visits about safety and i think that's one of my big things i've been on the soapbox about for a couple years now is uh, you know water safety um i just don't want to see another drowning yeah. Yeah. and um, road safety kids uh i wish more kids would wear helmets i still believe that they should get out there and roll in the dirt and have fun but I think we got to be safe while we do it. Um, everything from campfire burns to fireworks, you name it, we see it. Um, so just have a safe summer, but be smart about what you're doing um, and watch your kids yeah. for sure.
Janelle, welcome, and thanks for uh, coming in and uh, letting everybody know about you. And Dr. Feldman, always great talking to you as well. And uh, if you guys ever need anything, let us know. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. That's Doc Talk by Woodland Hospital here on the Giant FM Morning Show.